what's up what's up um i'm gonna go ahead and make this video uh i told scott on tape you can go ahead and check him out uh he goes to different locations and stuff you know what i'm saying um as far as like celebrities graves you know hotels stuff like that scott on tape um all you gotta do is youtube that he's got a bunch of different ones he did one on the cecil and i'm gonna share my story with you <clears throat> what i told him but i texted to him i didn't say it because my phone was a little messed up so uh i used to be in la like all the time i even lived out there but um so with that being said uh hotel cecil Hotel Cecil was somewhere cheap. Um, it was downtown. It's still downtown. And it was convenient for, for me. Um, you know. And I didn't know the history about it. <clears throat> and the Hotel Cecil goes back to like 1926 or something like that. Uh, the Black Dahlia murder. Um, they said she frequented the lobby, something, the bar, something that was there. Uh, uh, there's the bird, bird woman, bird lady, uh, and then there was, uh, Jack, I can't think of his name right now, but he was from Austria or Australia or something like that. He was a, uh, um, uh, basically a writer or something like that. Well, anyways to my to my story back what happened to me and my friend um let me tell you let me set you up to how i got there like i said it was cheap it was convenient um to the hotel cecil uh me and my friend uh who i do music with did music with at the time um coke trey he, he'll verify all of this information you can google him C O A. K like Oakland but Coke C O K and then Trey like T A R E. Anyways, so I didn't know about the Cecil, didn't know about its history. Um <clears throat> we stayed there many times, but um one time that we actually stayed there, uh we stayed on the fourteenth floor, it was like fourteen twenty six or fourteen 06 or 1408 something like that okay now Richard Romero Ramirez whatever his name was uh, probably Ramirez um, he used to stay on that floor um, he killed women you know and a bunch of other crazy stuff he was a Satan worshipper okay so we get into the room we check into the room and everything the beds are made everything the beds are made look nice you know what i'm saying but there's like it was like a 12 or a six pack of bud light and there was a gallon of smirnoff vodka and then like that was not touched and then there was like a, a gallon of it was it, it was all vodka that's 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 what i can say i'm not gonna um tell no lies or anything on this so we're chilling you know, and uh, all of a sudden we hear banging on the walls. And we're thinking that because we had music on that that was maybe the, you know, so we kind of turn the music down. Like, you hear that? The, the banging still went on. And then all of a sudden we heard screams. And me and my friend, we kind of looked at each other like, what the fuck? Damn. So the banging got louder and then the screams like it sounded like bloody murder screams like so I banged on the wall back and said shut the fuck up um you know because we 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 thought that maybe the people next door were getting agitated or the music was too loud because the walls at the Cecil are very thin very thin like it was built in like 1926 something like that so we go well we go that's what i say we go outside in the hallway to investigate you can still hear the screaming you can still hear the banging outside from the 
the room that we were staying in. And so I knocked on the door and was like, shut the fuck up. You want to do that shit? Do that shit somewhere else. You know, because it sounded like somebody was beating on their girlfriend, whatever. So we go back in the room and it kind of chills out for a minute. So we turn the music, you know, back on. And then the banging and the screaming starts again. And we're like, what the fuck? Man, this shit right here is pissing me the fuck off. So I get up, go back out to the hallway too, bang on the, the next door, you know, the, the room across from us. Well, next to us, which, you know, right behind us. And like the screaming, the banging, everything still keeps on going. So I'm like, man, fuck this. We're out of here. Not to check out, but like we, we had a show to do uh, with uh, Riff Raff. Well, not Riff Raff. We're too short. We ran into Riff Raff, but that's a different story. I'm, I'm going to share that one next. Um, but uh, yeah, so we go down to the to the uh, lobby. Then we tell them about what's going on. And they're like, okay, sorry. Sorry for that inconvenience. We'll check it out and see what's going on. And we're like, okay. Uh, we, uh, you know, th there's nobody staying there. And we were like, whoa, <laughs> there's nobody in that room. We heard banging and we heard screaming coming from the other room, banging on the walls. Well, we'll, we'll check it out. We'll check it out. So we go back in on the lobby and they're like, yeah, there, we had a security check. There's nobody standing in that room. So me and my friend were kind of tripped out. So that night, and it was double, like, it was double twin beds. Like, I had one, he had one. Um, and that's Hotel Cecil, the stay on main. They pretty much kept the same. Because after the Hotel Cecil, it switched to stay on main. And um, so, like, we were tripped out. My, my homie, he slept with this, like, <laughs> he's like, man, fuck this, bro. I'm sleeping with my head under the covers. And he did, too. No bullshit. It was some crazy shit at the sea, so that's only one instance. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, for real. The Hotel Cecil is really haunted. Because I, I done, I done, more than one time I've witnessed some crazy nonsense. Go ahead, uh, comment, everything. I, I'll answer your questions as good as I can. Anyways, check me out. Check us out. The Hotel Cecil. Ain't no joke and ain't no game. JB Easy. Yours truly, I'm out.